Hi, this short video is going to show you how to set up email over due notices that you can run at any time, especially run at the end of the year. So you've logged into Fallout Destiny and you are in the back portion of Fallout Destiny. You've clicked reports and then on the left hand side you have hit library reports. Once there you'll see a list of the reports that you've already created and saved. But we want to make a brand new one. So we're going to scroll down and then here are our first options. We can choose just checked out and overdue material, how long the item is overdue, all of that. In my case I'm not interested in the textbook so I'm going to unclick those. If all I wanted was the books I would also unclick the library finds. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Now the format, we want to decide what format are we going to send this to. We'll leave it in notices and then in English that way they can be emailed. Hit continue. Now, here's where if, for example, I'm at a middle school and I might want to really focus on my eighth graders since they're leaving, I could actually change the graduation date. I could say 18 and then it would just run against those students graduating in 2018. But that's not actually what I want. I want to run one for everyone. So, I can also say whether I want um, for the notices to include materials owed at other schools. In my case, I just want the notices to run for materials that are owed to me. So, let's see. I'm going to take up all the textbook because, again, that's not what I'm interested in at the moment. Hit continue. Then select and sort by patron name is the way that it usually works. Then I'm going to click via email. Put the display name you want to show up and then your return email. You'll most likely want it set to email one and two if that's what you have set up in Destiny is more than one email address. And then here you can tell it it's not really a print because you're obviously emailing it. So I like to say dear and then you could it will show up as the child's name. So for example my daughter's name is Nina Hilling and so it will say dear Nina Hilling then you can actually change this message. So I might want to change the message to being um, something more appropriate to the end of the school year. Right. So you know something a little bit more immediate. Then to the parent or guardian of, I like to do that. Now additionally here you need to decide what are you going to display to the parents. So I definitely, the title of the library materials, I like to put the price of the checkout, um, especially at the end of the year in case this is something that they have lost. I tend to take the barcode off because that's usually the student number. And then grade level and homeroom, those are fine. Really doesn't matter. So now what do I do? If I hit run notices, that's great. But the fact is I won't have this saved so that I can edit it later on. So let's hit save setup. And this will allow me to give it a name. So I'm going to say all school overdue. The other thing I love about this is now I can schedule it. So I could say by the week or daily, depending on you know where you are in the school year, all school overdue. And I want it to run on Friday. So I'll simply say save setup. Oh, additionally, one more interesting fact. You can change the time, and there's been some really interesting research as of late as to when people are most likely to open up their email, and it's been found that they are most likely to open up their email between 11 and 1 during the day. So I've actually taken to setting out my emails around that time so I can have the best exposure possible. So I'm going to hit Save Setup. Now if you notice, it actually hasn't run. It will run this Friday. All right, so all school overdue is the notice I created. If later on I think, oh, you know what, I really want to change just one or two things, I can hit Edit Saved Report. Then I can run through everything that I just did, change in anything that I would like. You know, maybe I want to add a little bit more detail in my message. And again, I simply hit Save Setup and Save, and I'm good to go. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on making email notices using Fallout Destiny. Thanks.